Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 12th day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is minimum number of refueling stops. So the input given here is an integer variable target and start fuel and an integer array station. So here the start fuel represent the initial amount of gas filled in our car and we have to start from the zero mile to reach the target miles. So to reach the target miles, we need exactly target fuel. That is for one mile, we need one liter of gas. So in total, we need target number of gas. So we also have stations in between the way. So we have to fill in gas from any of the stations to reach our destination. And we have to return the minimum number of stations we need to stop to fill gas in order to reach our destination. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example. We have a car starts with the fuel of 10 liters of gas and we have to start from the 0th mile to reach the 100th mile. And as per the problem statement, each mile needs 1 liter of gas. So by using the 10 liter of gas, how far can you reach is 10 miles. So at exactly 10th mile, you have a gas station and you are trying to fill the gas. So here you can fill every gas present in the station there is no limit to your car so you are filling all 60 liters to your car so now after this 10 you can reach 60 more miles using this 60 liters of gas so starting from the 10th mile you can reach exactly to the 60th mile but in between you come across two more gas stations you can either fill gas or not according to the distance you want to cover so you have reached your 60th mile, you find another gas station there, which is of consisting of gas 40 liters. So again, you are filling the 40th, 40th liter. So from 60th mile, you can reach the 100th mile, which is nothing but 60 plus 40 is 100. So you have stopped at two stations to reach 100. So in total, two is your output. So how are we going to approach this problem? So we are going to go for a greedy solution where the overall idea is to fill the gas where the maximum fuel is available and then go till wherever you can reach or how far you can reach and fill another station with maximum fuel. We are going to travel till how far we can travel with the maximum fuel our car has and in between whatever station has the maximum fuel we are going to fill that. For example, in this car, we have 3 liters of gas and we have to reach 15 miles. So, we are starting from 0. The maximum miles we can reach with the fuel 3 is 3 miles. So, the maximum miles we can reach using 3 liters of petrol or gas is going to be 3 miles. So, at exactly 3 miles, our car's fuel will become 0. As per problem statement, even it becomes 0 and if you reach the station, you can take the gas. So now at third mile, you have one ga gas station, but you have come across two gas station till you have reached the third mile. So you can either pick gas station at second mile to fill the gas or gas station at third mile to fill the gas or you can fill both. So in that case, we are going to add both the fuels to our priority queue. So our priority queue is going to have first five because five is the highest amount of gas out of these two stations and then one one is the least compared to the these two stations so now at third mile your car will run out of the fuel and stay at zero fuel so in that case you have to pick some station to fill gas with as we said the maximum distance you can reach within that limit whatever stations you have we are going to fill the station with highest number of fuel so that we can reach to maximum destination or maximum miles. So here the maximum fuel is 5. So we are going to fill a car with 5 and pop that value from our queue as we have used that fuel. So we have popped one value from our queue which means we have stopped at one gas station. So our result is going to be so far 1. So now we filled our car with fuel 5. So with that fuel 5 it can reach five more miles so we are third mile if you reach if you if we can reach five more miles then in that case we will be at the eighth mile so eighth mile is somewhere here so in that position you will again run out of your fuel so from the third mile till eighth mile 
you have only one station left and you are adding that to our queue. So it has a fuel of three. So in that case, it enters before one. So you have three and one left in our priority queue. So again, you will run out of your fuel at eighth station. So you must have filled your gas somewhere in between. So in between, you again had two stations with my one fuel one and fuel three. So as I said, we are going to pick the higher fuel one to fill. So we are going to pick three. And now we have picked station three. So we are refilling our car with gas three and our result is going to iterate one more as we have picked fuel from one more station. So now you have three fuel and you can reach three more miles from eight. So if you start from eight, you can reach is 11. So at 11, you will be running out of fuel. So again, your car will be having zero at that point. You don't have any other station left in between. You have to reach one more mile to reach gas station 12. So in that case, you are checking whether your priority queue is having any other gas station. Yes, you have a gas station with one liter of gas. If suppose our priority queue is empty and you reached the 11th mile and you don't have any other gas stations left, in that case, we cannot reach our target. We are going to return minus one. But here in this case, you have one gas station left in your priority queue with one liter of gas. So we are taking that as well and filling our car with that fuel. So now you got one more fuel added to your car. So with that one more fuel, you can reach the destination of 12 miles and you have a station there. So you have to reach 15, but you reached only 12. So again, you have only one station left. So let's add that as well to our priority queue. So this is kind of a trivial position where you have to take the fuel because your car has already become zero gas. So we are taking another station as well with six liters of gas. So our result is going to iterate with one more station. And with the six liters, you can cross the 15th mile and you can reach your target. So overall, you have stopped at three stations and three is going to be your output. So hope you're understanding this concept. The overall idea is simple. That is however far we can reach and number of stations between the distance, we are going to pick the station with highest gas and fill it and reach our destination. So this is going to work in big O of n log n time as we are going to iterate the number of stations fuel once and pull our value and push a value into the priority queue will take log n time. So let's go to the code now. So let's check the base condition first. That is if the given starting fuel itself is greater than or equal to target, then we don't have to stop at any station and reach our target. In that case, return zero. If not, as I said, we are going to need a priority queue. And we are going to use a comparator to sort our fuels based on the highest to lowest. So I have declared my variables where stops is the number of stops we are going to stop to fill gas. So that is going to be our output. And max distances, maximum distance you have covered with your car by using the fuel in it. So initially you can cover the maximum distance is the start fuel given because it, ha it will take one liter of gas per one mile. So let me iterate till we reach our target, our maximum distance, reach our target distance. So here I'm going to pick the maximum fuel from our queue. So our queue, we have written a comparator to store the values based on descending order. So as I said, if the queue becomes empty at any point, then we cannot return, reach our target. So we are going to return minus one. If not, we are going to add the maximum distance with the distance in the top of our queue because that is the maximum fuel you can fill and each fuel will take you that number of miles. And every time we pick a fuel, we are going to increment our number of stops. In between, when are we going to add our fuel to the queue is if our stations 
miles is less than the maximum distance that is if you can reach 3 miles and in between you have two stations you can add only those two stations fuel to a priority queue you cannot add the stations after the maximum distance your car has reached so whatever within the limit you have reached we are going to add that to our queue and we are going to add only its fuel and yes once it added the fuel it will increment to the next station so as the maximum distance we reach we are going to add the stations within that distance and we, if we are running out of fuel then we are going to update or add the distance and increment our stops so yes this is it let's run and try yes let's submit yes a solution is accepted and runs in 4 milliseconds so thanks for watching the video hope you like this video if you like this video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you